Yo guys, what's up? Here I am playing War of Omens, a game that was on Kickstarter by Fifth Column Games. Now, this is the open beta, but sadly, probably by the time I'm done this, the open beta won't still be going. These, how it works is there's three races, factions, or whatever. These kind of evil, sacrificing slave owners. These are kind of, um, I don't know what to say, working class, merchants of sorts. You get a bunch of people that do work for you. These are kind of like the back alley merchants. How they work is they have a bunch of pretty much schemes and spells and stuff, like sabotage, steal your resources. For this, I'm going to be playing as the Vespitole and Captain, Lissant Captain Lissantra. Or whatever. I'm just going to show you what it's like fighting the beginner AI. And here we go. Now I get one food per turn. And I, that helps feed people. I don't have any people. So I, all I can do is get gold. And then in my turn. This guy gets one skull. Which is equivalent to one damage on pretty much anything. He used it on me. And he got food somehow and use it on himself. Okay, so I get three more coins. Which means I can buy that's seven cost, that's six cost, and that's six cost. On every turn, this person will give me one gold, plus I can feed them to get more gold, and they draw a card. So I'm going to feed them the two, and I drew a gold coin card. Now how it works is you buy cards from here, and they go on the board, and at the end of it, they go back in your deck. So the more cards you buy, the bigger your deck is. Mine only is 8 right now, and that's pretty much only coins, because I haven't bought much. This time I can only buy 6. I could save up for these one of these guys, but I'll play Collect Taxes. Give me a gold and another coin, which just happened to be a, go uh, a coin. Now, that card is now in my deck, so I have a chance of drawing it. Of course I didn't, all I got was coins. I only have 5 coins, I can't afford anything here. This card at the bottom will now disappear. I'll go back into the, go back around, and it adds the courtesan instead. So we got coins. We'll draw. If you notice here, all this guy has is a surf. It just intercepts attacks, which means I can't attack him or any other card he plays until I deal with the interceptors. And I have enough coins to buy this guy. Every turn he gives me a magic, and he draws a card when I play him. Magic is pretty much the catch-all resource, it does pretty much everything. If he stays alive next turn, I'll get one more magic. But no, the guy used his thing to kill him. See, I'm lucky though, this time I got the wealthy patron, I can play that. He'll draw a card, which is gold. He can also feed them. Huh. So now, once I spend all these coins, I'll have eight. I can buy another one of these guys for more magic. I also draw a card, it was just a coin. And I got collect taxes. So he uses his one skull he gets per turn. He's trying to get one skull to kill that. He got another skull through some card. No, not great. Collect taxes, one gold and draw a card and get anything great. And I can't afford anything, so the marshal disappear. This time I got two of these cards, which is great. See, I can play him. And I can feed him to get magic. I can also play this to get gold. I got another one. So I get to play that. Draw another card. I can feed them and buy this guy. Every turn he gives me one food as well as I draw a card. I play that. I draw a card. And then it's all gold. See, what these guys happen if is you get a lot of guys on the field generating resources. As well as you can get a lot of people. And as well as these, you get the card draw from each card, which can... Uh, stack up very quickly. This time we'll get the Militiaman, because he'll actually do damage. Do that, and feed this guy. That means we can draw another, this one for more gold, plus card draw, and it's just more gold. So now you see, all he has is these intercept things and the skulls he generates, and now I have this massive economy going. And that's where my advantage is. Because each time, I now get one magic and three extra gold plus a food, so that's effectively two. He's using the skulls to remove. 
but not very fast. So we'll get another one of these guys just to get more magic. As well as we got the card draw and we got the extra coin. Now if you notice it takes gold to buy them out here, but nothing to just play them from your hand. Which is where once I get a lot of cards in my deck, I'm already up to 13, and I start just drawing one after another of these cards. You really start to take off, because all of a sudden, what they thought was an empty board is now a full board. We get another one of these, and we just got a coin. Of course, if you're noticing, I'm going down in health, and he's going up, he's using his food. To restore health to himself, I'm using my four to fund my economy. Eventually, you'll get to the point where I'm just generating so much, or I have attacking units, I've only taken one so far, that I just start decimating him. The one attacking unit he killed, and I haven't got one back, so... We'll see how long it takes to get that. And... We've now effectively bought our entire store. Which means we can possibly start going more on the offensive. Draw a card, we draw a card, we get some coins, and then we draw a card again. We draw a card. We feed... Oh, I don't have any guys. But let's use our skulls to just remove all his things from the board. That way, he has nothing on the board. Now he used one of his skulls to remove our guy, and put another one up. You see he's doing the cards shuffle thing as well. That's an interesting thing, you can see the guy's hand, how many cards are in his deck, and what he can buy. That works in both, this is against AI, it works against computer too. So we're buying that, we got a magic and draw card, we got another magic draw card. More collect axes, more coins, we'll feed this guy. Magic is the best resource, and then we'll kill these guys with skulls and end our turn. Now, I'm not getting many of my attacking units. Look at this three of these guys, though. So it's just massive card draw. Card draw, card draw. More cards. More cards. And now I can play this guy from that, and I draw another one. I draw another wealthy patron, and here we go. Now I have an attacking unit. And a lot of gold. So, you can feed this guy and he'll attack, you see. For everything I feed him, the enemy's health goes down by one. And like I said, magic is the catch-all, so I was actually feeding him magic to attack. So, more gold, more gold. Buy this, see what card we get, it's just coins. Now we have six skulls. We actually, and magic which can work his skull, so that's 11 damage. Pretty soon we'll just be able to destroy him. The marshal activates everything twice, so I get 2 gold per turn, 2 food per turn, 2 skulls per turn, 2 magic, and the marshal gets 2 attacks per turn. So, as you can see at this point, when I get 2 of everything, that is pretty huge. So we'll use 2 skulls. Feed, we now have 19 damage in skulls. So, we're pretty damn close to killing him. He removed my militia, and he didn't remove my marshal, so look at, I now have 13 and 20 magic. Which means he's easily dead as I just rapidly click on him. You'll notice the surf blocked one, but he can't block at all. And I leveled up and got 50 coins. For every um, 100 coins you have, you can buy a basic starter pack. And that was the single player, so now let's try multiplayer.